They're over a barrel, Mitch. I have to use them. We call Dwayne Miller to the stand. Will the sheriff please bring in the witness? Can he tell? Nothing. He can't tell anything. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you shall give in this cause shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. <clears throat> you state your name, please. Dwayne Miller. Most folks call me Duke. Where do you presently reside, Mr. Miller? Across the alley in the jail. You know the defendant, Frederick Mannion? Yeah, I got to know him in the past few weeks. His cell's right next to mine. What was the last conversation you had with the lieutenant? Except for hello this morning, the last time was last night. Did you discuss his trial last night? Yeah, some. Would you tell the court what Lieutenant Mannion had to say about the trial? Well, I said, uh, things looking up, Lieutenant? And he said, I got it made, Buster. He said, I fooled my lawyer. I fooled that head shrinker. I'm going to fool that bunch of corn cobbers on the jury. You're a liar! You're a lousy, stinking liar! I apologize for my client, Your Honor. Yet his outburst is almost excusable since the prosecution has seen fit to put a felon on the stand to testify against an officer in the United States Army. Your Honor, I don't know who was the worst offender, Mannion or his lawyer. We're close to the end. In the name of heaven, let's have peace and courtesy for these last few hours. Mr. Dancer, you will continue your interrogation without comment. Mr. Beagler, you will not sound off at every opportunity, and the defendant will remain seated in his chair and keep his mouth shut. Now go ahead. Mr. Miller, are you certain that Lieutenant Mannion said, I've got it made buster? That's what he said. Mr. Miller, did Lieutenant Mannion say anything else? Yes, sir. He said when he got out, the first thing he was going to do was to kick that bitch from here to kingdom come. To whom was he referring? To his wife. 